To analyze a transistor circuit, it is usually required to make a couple of assumptions. These assumptions concern the region of operation of each transistor. But as these are mere assumptions, we have to check on each one of them before we finish our calculations. As an example, we analyze this circuit. What we are looking for is the collector current. We start off by assuming that the transistor operates in saturation. This means the collector emitter voltage has to be equal to the collector emitter saturation voltage. For this example, let's pretend that VCE set equals 200 millivolts. This means the voltage at the resistor has to be 4.8 volts. But if we solve for VR from the base, we end up with a different result. Here we get VR equals 1 volt. This does not match our previous result. Clearly, math tries to tell us that our assumption is wrong. Thus, we adjust our assumption and restart with the forward active region. In the forward active region, the collector emitter voltage is larger than the collector emitter saturation voltage. To solve the circuit now, we have to start at the base. Again, we get 1 volt for the resistor voltage. This means the collector emitter voltage has to be 4 volts. This is larger than the collector emitter saturation voltage and our assumption holds. We obtain the emitter current via Ohm's law. As we are operating the forward active region, we can use the current gain to relate collector and base current. Also, we know that the sum of collector and base current equals the emitter current. This leads to a relation between IB and IE. If we search the datasheet of our transistor, we would get the value for the current gain, B. For now, we set B to 99. This gives a base current of 10 microamps. And finally, we are able to solve for the collector current IC, which we could get by either the difference IE minus IB or by the current gain. As a second example and something for you to practice, we add a second resistor to the collector. Again, we are interested in the collector current IC. Go ahead and try to calculate the collector current. You may have noticed that the collector current did not change. This means this circuit behaves like a current source. And it will continue to do so as long as the collector emitter voltage remains larger than the collector emitter saturation voltage. 